in the previous lecture we were discussing about the theories of evolution. theories of evolution in that we had completed our Lamarck's theory of acquired character. Now we will study about the Darwin's theory of natural selection. Second theory Darwin's theory of natural selection. By the name itself we can understand that it was discovered by the scientist Darwin and it the theory was put forwarded on 1st July 1858 and this theory was put forward it by two scientists. One was Darwin and another was Wallis. But we uh, Darwin is most popular for this theory of the natural selection. They both are were not the co-workers, but they both were working individually over the separate projects and they came to the uh, came to know about the same results of uh, uh, of this theory and also Darwin was inspired by Malthus. Malthus was the another scientist Darwin was inspired by Malthus. Why he was inspired by Malthus? because of is one publication on the essay on population. He was inspired by the publication of Malthus which was essay on population and this inspiration led the Darwin to do his findings or to uh, study about the theories, uh, study about the natural selection and due to this, uh, due to which he had proposed the theory of the natural selection. So, he has proposed the theory and he has also given some postulates about this theory. So, what were the postulates about this theory? The first one is rapid multiplication in population. Rapid multiplication, multiplication in the population. So, what Darwin said in his first postulate that population increases with a geometric rate that in agar ek saal mein koi bhi population double hoti hai to dusre saal mein wo population four times ho jayegi aur teesre saal mein wo population uske eight guna badh jayegi to he said that population increases at the geometric rate geometrically wo badhti hai so let us take two examples before this what he said that population increases at geometric rate. So, example here we will take the example of paramecium and bacteria. Paramecium multiplies within 24 hours. Paramecium multiplies 
uh, doubles or divides a within 24 hours whatever may, may be the number of paramecium it will become double after 24 hours and bacteria we know that bacteria divides after every 20 minutes her 20 minute ke baad mein bacteria divide hote hai to agar paramecium continues to divide after 24, uh, 24 hours and bacteria also continues to divide every after every 20 minutes to kuch samay baad kya hoga after 2 or 5 years uh, the whole earth will be covered by both of these organisms and one more condition that if the optimum conditions are provided for the uh, multiplication of both these organisms if the optimum conditions are provided if the optimum conditions are provided or the favorable conditions we can say agar kisi bhi organism ko say about both of these organisms agar paramecium or bacteria dono ko agar favorable conditions mil rahi hai to why don't they divide wo divide kyun nahi honge unki population kyun nahi badhayenge so, if they are getting the optimum conditions, then the paramecium will become doubles after 24 hours and bacteria will become double after 20, uh, every, after every 20 minutes. So, this was the first postulate of the Darwin, the rapid multiplication in the population and he said that population increases at the geometric rate. The second postulate of the Darwin is limited food resources and space. Second postulate of the Darwin limited food resources and space. अगर population geometric rate से बढ़ेगी, then uh, क्या हर किसी organism को lim, uh, food and space मिल पाएगा? No, because uh, food resources increases by arithmetic rate. Food resources increases by arithmetic rate and uh, what is the meaning of geometric rate and arithmetic rate? Geometric means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8 and 8 into 2, 16. And arithmetic means 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 2. 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8. So, jahan geometric rate se population bad rahi hai, wahan unka number 16 per pohaj kya. Aur jahan arithmetic rate se food resources bad rahe hai, wahan unka number 8 tha. So, we can make out the difference from here only that geometric rate se jab koi cheez bad rahi hai, then it will be increasing very fast. And arithmetic rates agar bad rahi hai, then the rate of increasing is quite low. So, yahi par hume difference dikhai de raha hai that the uh, food resources are half to that of the increasing population. Uh, ha, okay, uh, food resources are half of that of the population. So, food resources are increasing at the arithmetic rate. So, agar food resources dheere dheere bad rahe hai, then how all the animals or all the organisms will uh, get the food for their, uh, will be getting the food easily. And when we are talking about the space, we know that the space available
space available on earth is limited limited hi to space available hai. we can't uh, stretch the space available or we can't stretch the earth with the increase uh, increase number of the population so the food available on the earth is also limited so both of these the uh, food resources and the space the availability of the food resources and the space depends upon the increase in the population and though the population is increasing at the higher rate and food resources are increasing at the lower rate so these food resource is acting as a constraint agar population badhe ja rahi hai to kya food har kisi ko milega no so this food resources availability of the food resource is acting as a constraint that it is Uh, just like keeping a check over the increasing population agar population badhta hi ja raha hai then uh, there will be no food availability and if there is no food availability then the organism will uh, automatically die we can compare this with the paramecium and bacteria when they are provided the optimum conditions when they are provided the proper food and the space for living so they can multiply after every 24 hours or after every uh, 20 minutes but agar inhe food na mile if they are not provided with the proper food then or the proper nutrition then they will die so the availability of the food resource and the space is a constant or it is a uh, like keeping the check over the increasing population if the population is increasing at the geometric rate the food resource is increasing at the arithmetic rate and if the food resource is available for the organism then it will be developing if the food is not available then the organism will ultimately die so it keeps the balance ki agar food available hai to hi koi organism zinda reh sakta hai if it is not available then ultimately it has to die the third postulate uh, the first was ra uh, rapid multiplication second limited food resources and space and the third struggle for existence struggle for existence ab when the population is increasing at a rapid uh, uh, stage or at a, with a rapid speed and the food resources are limited so there exists a competition between the organisms if the population is increasing at geometric rate and food resources are increasing at arithmetic rate then there exists a competition between the organisms that they have to compete for their uh, uh, resources or for their living resources and this competition of the organisms for the basic needs of their life this type of competition is called as struggle for existence because they have to struggle there for their basic requirements of their life for the basic needs of their life so it is called as the struggle for existence the struggle for existence are of three types three types of struggle or three folds of a struggle the first one intra 
species struggle intra species struggle means the struggle between the same species struggle between the animals of same species uh, we can uh, understand it with uh, an example that two dogs they are struggling or they are fighting for the same piece of meat so there exists a intra specific struggle the meat is only one piece the limited food resource and the animals or the organisms which are struggling are two the population is more for the one piece of meat so for that one piece of meat there is a struggle for existence and what type of struggle it is intra specific struggle so the struggle between the species of uh, between the animals of the same species is called as intra specific struggle the second class of it is inter specific struggle struggle between the uh, organisms of different species is called as inter specific struggle struggle between animals of different species is called as inter specific struggle we can understand it by taking the example of the snake and the rat they both are belonging to the different species uh, snake is of different and uh, uh, rat are mammals and snake are reptiles so uh, snake wanted to eat that rat and rat is uh is escaping from that snake because uh, rat wants to save its life and snake is hungry therefore he wants to eat that rat so here the snake is struggling for its food and the rat have to ra run away or have to escape for saving its life he is struggling for his life and he is struggling or the uh, the snake is struggling for its food and the rat is struggling for saving his life so both of the species or both of the organisms are struggling for something so therefore this type of struggle is called as inter specific struggle the third type of struggle is environmental struggle or struggle with the environment what are the environmental struggle when the organism have to struggle with the uh, change in the environment uh, like there are certain kind of changes in environment like uh, the very much increase in the temperature or the sudden increase of the temperature sudden decrease in the temperature heavy rain, rainfall heavy humidity so these are the changes in the environment for which or from which the species or any organism have to cope up with these kind of changes so when the organism is struggling with these kind of changes in the environment this is called as environmental struggle he is uh, struggling with the change in the environment to save its life if the suddenly the temperature decreases so all the organisms will uh, sorry uh, all the organisms will save its life or try to struggle with these change in the environment so there is the uh, environmental struggle between the organisms or uh, the uh, or between the organism and the environment this was about the struggle for existence the next postulate of the darwin is variation Darwin said that variations occurs in each and every population. Variation 
occurs in each and every population and these variations are of two types two types of variations one is slow and one is fast uh, sorry one is continuous and one is discontinuous. So, what is continuous variation? Continuous variation is slow type of variation and it is because of the recombination. We can say that recombination of certain homologous chromosomes or the non-homologous chromosomes or any other type of recombination uh, is responsible for the continuous variation. And what about the discontinuous variation? It is fast, random and rare, fast, random and rare it represents two mutation and these are highly noticeable these are very fast and rare and random it can happen anytime anywhere this type of uh, variation is called as discontinuous variation so there is an increase in population at the geometric rate there is limited food and resources, food resources and space available for the organisms. From the limited food resources and the space, there exists the struggle for existence. And there is the variation also in the population. The fifth one, natural selection or survival of the fittest. This is the fifth and most important postulate of the Darwin's theory. See, population is increasing at the geometric rate. With the increase in the population, the food resources and the space which is available for the residents or for living that both the things are limited limited hai or population zada hai then there will be the struggle for existence and there are variations to jab struggle hai to only that organism or uh, or when there are variations also struggle hua to kuch variation aaya then the variation which is best suited to the uh, environment or which is best adapted for that particular type of environment in which that organisms are living. So, that variation is selected by the nature and why that variation is selected by the nature? Because the organism which is bearing that particular type of variation is uh, adapted to the environment and it is selected by the nature. Why it is selected by nature? Because uh, when it is more adapted to the environment, it will more suited to that particular environment and it will live a longer life and it will also gives rise to the another progeny or the another generation which is having that kind of that particular uh, type of variation. Therefore, nature only select that best variation or that best trait which is uh, suited or which is adapted to the environment in which that organism is living. So, natural selection what it shows? Nature selects only those variations which are best 
suited or best adapted to the environment so the variation which is best suited or best adapted with the environment that variation will be selected by the nature and this type of selection is called as natural selection and what we have given the survival of the fittest why because the that was the best variation or that was the best character which was acquired by that organism so, when the best character acquires and that best character is selected by the nature, then we will consider that animal as the fittest because it is adapted or it has made itself to adapt to that, to that environment. It has developed itself so much develop that it will adapt to that environment. Therefore, the organisms had built a uh, fit had built themselves a fit organism therefore that fit organism is selected by nature and that is called the survival of the fittest jo jitna fit hoga wo utna survive karega this was the fifth postulate of the darwin's theory the sixth one inheritance of acquired character so uh, they had uh, taken a certain kind of variation and that variation is also selected by the nature and the variation that particular species is bearing is called as fittest um, animal so uh, organism fit ho gaya hai now that variation or that particular trait which has been taken up uh, or which has been acquired by that organism now that particular trait or that acquired character will be inherited to the next generation why because variations are genetic variations genetic hote hai. therefore these variations will be inherited from the parent generation to the next generation on from that generation it will be transmitted or transferred to that next generation this is called as inheritance of the acquired character or we can say that inheritance of the useful character jo character useful hai for that particular organism that will be transferred into the or inherited into the next generation the seventh postulate speciation ab the uh, useful character has been transmitted to the next generation so generation after generation that useful character will be transmitted uh, after each and every generation so jab uh, transmit ho hi raha hai then after some time or after some generation they will form the be, uh, best species or they will form the organism which will be the best from their parents also so that best organism uh, then they will form its species or they will again reproduce and form the uh, uh, next species or form the species or form that kind of species which is different from its parent or which is bearing the certain variations with it. So natural selection say particular variation is selected and that is being inherited inheritance hone say that is being uh, inherited from one generation to the another generation and finally because of the transmittance or the inheritance of the particular character generation after the generation one new species is formed that is called as speciation this was all about the darwin's theory of the natural selection and in the next we will discuss about the mutation theory